Hello, hello. How's it going, guys? Wait for a few more people to join. There's uh, two things that I kind of want to address. Um, first thing, let's go with the lighter one. The first thing is uh, I did a, an interview. Uh, I think it was for the, the wolf shoot that I did. Um, but a few other articles like took what I said in those and made their own articles out of it. And one of the questions asked was they wanted me to list bands and artists that influenced the sound that my band does. So I listed people like Camp, Ray LaMontagne, Joe Purdy, you know, some really amazing like folk bands and artists that I that I really love you know I adore Simon and Garfunkel and Van Morrison and um, some people were really upset that I didn't put my father on that list um, and I would like to clarify that the question was not who do you think is a musical genius it wasn't whose music changed your life it wasn't name some of the greatest artists of all time. The question was, which artists influenced the way you sound? So, naturally I chose folk artists that, you know, when I listen to their music, I'm like, damn, I wanna do that. I wanna sound like that. By not putting my father on the list, in no way am I not acknowledging the musical genius he is. Um, I'm not trying to discredit him in any way. I'm not trying to avoid acknowledging everything that he's done for me. And while I have worked very hard to grow my platform, that platform wouldn't exist in the first place if it was not for him. I'm not ignoring these facts. I'm simply listing the bands that affect my sound. That was the question. So I choose these, I mean, like my dad did shit with Carlos Santana and Eddie Van Halen, you know, pop, rock, soul, some of the greatest music of all time. And I'm over here with a fucking banjo and mandolin, totally different thing. So that's where I was coming from. And I'd like to clarify that the bands and artists that I listed, that's where I feel I get my sound from. But also at the same time, like being musically inclined and having the musical intuition that I do that comes from my father and I acknowledge that and I'm grateful for it and I respect it so there's that and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I when I list these amazing folk artists when I'm talking about where does my sound come from so the second thing is uh, some people have uh, taken screenshots of uh, one of the many scars I have on my arm. This scar just so happens to be on top of one of the seven tattoos I have for my dad. I have seven tattoos for him. One of them's on my arm. I also have a lot of scars that are on both arms as well as my legs. It's not a secret that I've struggled with self-harm for the last like 10 years. I've talked about it many times, um, and I've talked about it a lot, like several times in the last several years. Um, and I wanna say it's been almost two years since I last hurt myself, cut, burn, whatever. Um, and it's something that has taken a lot of work to overcome, you know, therapy, all the good things. But people are really not upset that I, hurt myself, but upset that this specific scar is on top of this tattoo. And I'd like to clarify that it has nothing to do with him. It has nothing to do with the tattoo. It has everything to do with me, my struggles, my issues with self-harm that I have overcome and that I am still overcoming. It has been a long time. 
since I've last hurt myself. And again, yeah, it, it really has nothing to do with the tattoo specifically. You know, if I, if I wanted to, people are accusing me of having like resentments and issues with my father. If that was the case, I would just get the tattoo removed. You know, or all seven of them removed. Like this, this is my shit. These are my issues. And I'm working on overcoming them. You know, it's been a long time. So I, I just wanted to clarify that. And I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, I tried to uh, clarify it shortly in like a comment on Instagram on someone that it's like exposing or something like that. That's like their, their tag is like exposed. Um, and they said, stop being a victim. And I'd like to clarify that I am not a victim in any way. If you're bringing up the word victim, that's you that's bringing it up. I'm not. Um, me make space just said that you need to, it's sad you have to explain yourself. You know what? I don't, I, I don't have to explain myself, but, um, I think it's important to clarify. So, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm happy. I am the happiest I've been in a really long time. And I have a lot of gratitude and just so many things to be grateful for. So many things to be grateful for. And it seems like, uh, it seems like the, the EP is doing well. You guys are really fucking supportive and I'm gonna start crying it means the world to me that that you guys like my music so I'm gonna <clears throat> that's all I got I'm gonna calm down drink my coffee and vape and not cry on live because that's lame no it's not lame it's okay to cry but yeah, I understand that not everybody's going to understand what I'm coming from, where I'm coming from, and what I'm trying to say, and that's okay. I don't expect everyone to, you know, get it. Um, but, you know, Geronimo is, is one of the songs of mine that uh, talks about self-harm. And um, it's a weird full synchronicity. Um, but yeah, to those of you out there that are struggling with it, um, struggling with pain, and just life, because life can really suck sometimes. Um, I used to be in a place where I didn't think it was ever going to get better, that I was never going to feel happy. And it did. You know, I didn't believe anyone when they told me that it's going to be okay, it's going to get better. Didn't believe them. Um, but the people that said that were right. And it's probably going to get harder. You know, there's going to be more challenges. There's like a saying, new levels, new devils. There's going to be a lot of curveballs thrown my way. And I understand that. And same with everyone, you know. Life isn't supposed to be perfect, but uh, it does get better. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for your support and all the love. Um, yeah, that's all I got.